Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Thank you, Betty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is TTB speaking. Welcome back to Mech Warrior Online. And as I announced in the last video, I finally ditched the MLG Betty and went back to the good old bitching Betty that is the standard version in Mech Warrior Online due to popular demand and also because the MLG Betty was fun while it lasted, but it got a little bit old. Uh, it got a little bit old. So that's why we switched back to the old stuff which is oldie but goldie. All right, let's hop into the match. We're currently piloting a grasshopper, the GHR-5N, and I have it loaded up with a medium pulse laser loadout. So I got eight medium wubwubs for a lot of good pinpoint damage, but as always, medium pulse lasers, especially the ones from the inner sphere, suffer from the lack of long range poke power or even medium range poke power. I mean 220 meters that is basically getting into the enemy's face, basi basically touching them with your weapons in order to hit them. So that means that we need to get up close and personal and we want to do that with a minimum amount of damage to our own mech because the grasshopper in itself it's not a bad mech, but it is a little bit fragile, especially since the uh, center torso hitbox is quite large and you take a lot of hits on it. So that's something to take into consideration. If you look at the weapon groups, I've arranged them in uh, a group of three and a group of five. And the reason for that is so that I can go ahead and shoot the halves of my mech. So the left mouse button shoots the left side of my weapons and the right mouse button shoots the right side of my weapons. And of course, you could also do a third weapon group for the arm weapons only. The reason for that is so I can go ahead and do corner picking. This mech is actually pretty good at close range corner picking because you have to expose just a minimum amount of, of your mech to actually be able to hit the enemy, get some damage off and uh, retreat back to cover or twist away. So that is a nice little thing that you can do with this mech. Also the speed is pretty nice, 78 kph without speed tweak so I reckon this mech can actually go something around hmm, 85 kph with speed tweak, so that is pretty nice. Uh, I will let you know once I have it. And uh, at this point, I see that the enemies are pushing in, so I can go ahead and try a little nice flanking maneuver. And uh, let's let's try and turn some heads so that our team can go ahead and uh, shoot them in the back. So, coming around the corner here, and we see DDC Atlas, uh, <laughs> Kodiak, and the King Crab. All right, let's put some fight on on the Atlas. As you can see, one Salvo, his CT back is open, and now he sees us. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I don't want to have FaceTime with him. <laughs> Two LB10s, three SRM6s, that will hurt. So we're going one on one against an Atlas. Uh, just trying to engage the jump jets to be as hard to hit as possible, presenting my side torso right now while I'm cooling off. Don't want him to get a shot at my CT. Uh, trying to bait him, no, no, now he took the bait, all right. One more salvo in, he is right in the center, goodbye Atlas. Perfect. All right, moving back to the rest of the team, there's a king crab that wants to die, so we will happily oblige with that. Take away one torso, and it's actually not an XL engine. That is interesting. He's trying to shield his center torso right now, but at this point, I mean, it's only a matter of time if you're up against six or seven enemies. Over here, we have a night jar as well as a black knight coming in, so we'll go ahead and uh, poke the bear a little bit. And as you can see, this is about 300 meters fighting distance. This is not that much, but it's still already half out of our optimum fighting distance. So, we're not doing as much damage as we should do, that's why I'm moving in a little bit to try and get down the Black Knight, and that we do, and we overheat, but that's fine because we got teammates around and there is no enemies around currently, so that is a good shot to take. We're running a little bit hot on this map, uh, but I, don't, I wouldn't say that this build suffers from running too hot, it's just that you need to be a little bit careful when you shoot and where you shoot, and uh, always try and get as close as possible to that magical 220 or with uh, with range uh, modules the uh, 240 meter range and then you'll be fine. Target destroyed. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to be a little bit careful right now because we are running an XL engine and losing that side torso would not be healthy for us. It would actually be deadly. That's why I'm hanging back a little bit. Now jump jetting in, trying to see if I can get a shot off on the Marauder. Yes, we can. Nice little hit on the side torso and center torso. And there she blows. And we've got another Marauder to see left over here. He is moving slowly towards Death Valley to I don't know, settle in and die. Make Death Valley Death Valley again. Cuddle with the corpse of the other mech down there. It doesn't matter. I need to be very careful now. As you can see, boom. I, I barely looked at the guy and he hit my center torso. <laughs> yeah, hitbox is pretty big. So, match over. Let's go ahead, have a look at the end score, Let's see how we did. Overall, I like this mech a lot, um, but as I said, it, you need to get very close with this one, so uh, be aware of that. Three killing blows, four assists, two solo kills, three kill most damage dealt, and 900 damage done with eight components taken out. Not a bad round, I would say, especially not in a mastered mech, but as I said, very situational. Let's hop into the second game right away. That was actually the first match that I played with this Grasshopper. We're here on Polar Highlands. I know, I know, like PGI's perfect algorithm uh, always picks the right map. If you have long range weapons, it will put you on Mining Collective and shit. And if you have short range weapons, it's gonna be Polar Highlands all day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, jokes aside, so I am just trying to get into range to get some good shots off on the enemy. Um, this mech can be a little bit misleading, because you see an enemy at about 400 meters or so, you get two salvos in, you think, yeah, great, did some good damage. No, you didn't. You, you barely take them. You really need to get into that 250 meters uh, range to be of use. Other than that, um, you will find that, that your own damage is a little bit misleading. And by the way, look at that. Little urban mech, did you see the thing flying up? Yeah, that's actually the animation of a UAV being launched. And of Thank course, you. where there is UAVs, there shall be missiles. So it is written and so it shall be done. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and make another video of the other grasshopper variants in the near future. Uh, next one is probably gonna be the large pulse laser slash medium laser variant. And I'm uh, gonna. Lock gonna on. be gonna be interesting to see how that one works out. But as you can see right now, we're engaging at about 350 meters. Um, I think we are losing about half of a firepower already when doing so. So, yeah, we're basically shooting four medium pulses. We're basically we're basically shooting the equivalent of an urban mech for MPL loadout <laughs> at 400-ish uh, meters. So, be aware of that. Oh, actually, not even the 400 target 300 already. Destroyed. All right. Just moving in with the team, trying to, to amplify plan. damage on the targets and target present myself destroyed. a little bit so that we can acquired. go ahead and tank a little bit of fire for our team, for example, from the Kodiak. Not too much, though, as I said. Um, gigantic center torso hitbox, so we need to be aware of that. Bravo's primary. Focus wrong, yeah, man. that's... Warhammer could hurt, so let's go ahead and try and take him out as fast as we can. CT open, one more shot does it, perfect. And the Kodiak is still there as well, so he is going to be our next target probably, unless we see a Highlander. Well, Mr. McLeod. Ah, damn it, didn't get him, unfortunately. Our jump shot was not accurate enough. And talking about jump shots, uh, that is also a thing that you should bring up, I think. The Grasshopper is actually pretty good at doing these uh, kind of peak jump shots, so um, make use of those. Well, the Enforcer is down, only the Kodiak 3 over here is the deal if he gets taken out as well, but a Marauder to see enters the battlefield and my CT now is open on all sides and red. Very, very left, red. Guys. So I'm just trying to present my side as much as I can and hope Focus that he will just go ahead and ignore me. Which he thankfully does, so we can go ahead and shoot some more rounds Good into kill. him. And the Arshi blows, only Good one team. target left. And uh, he's not he's not gonna do Good much, right? Guys. It's just an Arctic Cheetah with five ER mediums. Yeah, no biggie. He's not dangerous at all. Work his legs. Unless he starts looking at me. 
which he did. Nice. So, Just there we the go. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> he got us, but that is fine. We finally went ahead and bit the dust. Nice or work, actually, guys. more or less, we bit the snow. On this map, 3 killing blows, 537 damage. I think that is okay for a loadout that needs extreme close range on no, Polar sorry, Highlands. I saw you were moving after so, I Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it. me know in the comments below. Go ahead and press that thumbs up button. Yeah, no, no, I, I that helps out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, too. consider doing so yeah, by pressing that subscribe button in the end of the video or just on the channel. I'm gonna bring up the build right now and talk a little bit about it so that you guys can get an idea of what's in there. So running a XL340 engine, double heat sinks of course, no endo steel because it's not needed, we need the slots and we don't need the tonnage, and just medium pulse lasers in every available slot where we can put in a medium pulse laser, as well as three jump jets. And that basically is it. That's the build. Um, shaved off a little bit of armor in the legs, as I said. Um, not, not that highly focused area, most people will shoot your center torso and hit that all the time, so be sure to protect it. Thanks for watching everybody, see you next time. TTB, out!